Hi, I'm Senior Chief Petty Officer Sanders at San Diego Surface Rescue Swimmer School, and I've been a search and rescue swimmer for about nine years now. As a Navy search and rescue swimmer on board surface vessels, we're responsible for recovering downed personnel, personnel falling over the side, or aircraft crashes at sea. We are also responsible for recovering personnel that put out any distress signal and remove them from the water safely. Approximately 61% of American kids cannot safely conduct the five basic water competency skills. But people still go to lakes, pools, and beaches across the country. So people are still going in the water even though they're unable to swim. Today we're going to show you the Red Cross's five water competency skills. Step one would be step or jump into the water, ensuring the water is over your head, and break the surface of the water and get a breath. Step two, upon returning to the surface, you will need to float or tread water for approximately one minute. During this time frame, be sure to breathe as necessary and relax to not overexert yourself. Step three, use whatever stroke is more comfortable for you, turn around in a full circle and find an exit. Step four, you will need to be able to swim 25 yards utilizing whatever stroke is more comfortable for you to find the exit. Step five, exit from the water. If you are in a pool, you need to be able to exit without utilizing a ladder. For families going to the water for the first time, ensure your kids have either attended a basic water survival course or swim lessons, and or ensure they are chaperoned the entire time. Have fun swimming and be safe.